Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Jonathan Atherton and it's just great to be back in my hometown. This is where it all began for me way back in the 90s. If you remember the 90s, you probably were there. I've actually spent the last 15 years or so in, uh, in Asia and Africa and building a comedy scene there. I've been working as a mentor for young actors. It's been really exciting stuff. And it's actually the, the hardest thing I've found coming back is working with rooms full of white people. I'm just not used to it. What do they think about? I don't follow the sport. I'm not into the politics. So we just basically talk about my dick and that, that's a career. Oh, my favorite comedian is actually uh, Steve Hughes. I started at the age of 33. What was I doing? I was living in Africa. I was working in the black market. I had a bar in Thailand. I taught English in Japan. Uh, I smuggled coral through India. Go figure. Uh, so I had a pretty adventurous time in my 20s. And at the age of 33, I thought I should do something decent. But I didn't. I did comedy instead. Funnily enough, it was when the sit-down comedy club was at Dockside and they used to have a band that was playing after the comedy show and my flatmate was dating the singer from the band. And I was just telling travel stories from my time in Africa and Asia and she said, wow, this is, this is like, this is funny stuff, do it on stage. And I jumped up and um, it, the first one went well. If it didn't, I, who knows what, I probably would have gone back and finished my law degree or something, but no. Uh, it went really well and I was hooked from there on. That was 1993, at the age of 32, 33, I did my first gig, my first paid gig. So uh, the rest, as they say, is, is a blurry history. People in this country are. Uh, in Asia, I don't find the same thing. Uh, in Asia, I can joke about Indians, Malays, Chinese, Thais, when they're there, present, because they don't suffer from white guilt. I find uh, Australia's become overly sensitive because obviously we have a lot of guilt issues we haven't dealt with. And I felt, find Melbourne to be the epicenter of tree hugging, dolphin sleeping, bicycle riding, solar powered wankers. And they just can't take a joke. They want to be offended. They look for anything. They, the punctuation offends them. Pronominalization offends them. You know, genital mut mutilation, not a problem as long as it was consensual. I don't get it. I think we should have the right to make fun of each other as long as it's done with respect and knowledge and not ignorance and fear. Oh gee, too many stories of when I bombed really badly. Probably the worst one that was the most potentially violent one was in England. Uh, and I had a couple of drunken lads from Liverpool and I started putting shit on their football team. And that's a little bit like insulting someone's God. You know, the English take their football very seriously. And it wasn't that the gig bombed so much. These guys were rowdy. Some people laughed. It was a bit of a bad thing. I went outside to, to go towards the train station and they were waiting for me and they had blades. And, uh, and yeah, it was lucky. The bouncer had kind of just put his head around the corner and it was a bit of a Mexican, Liverpool stand, a Scouser standoff it was. And uh, so there were like four of them and there was me and a bouncer. And I just, but I was, I just finished a gig. So my adrenaline was so much that I had just no fear in my face. You know what I mean? I just did a room in, in Manchester, but these guys were from Liverpool. Uh, it was, yeah, strange politics, tribal, very tribal. And I just said, yeah, come on, mate, bring it on. I'll fuck it, I'll shake your fucking tongue. And, and they just went, this guy's a nutcase, you know? And, uh, and then, as I say, I had a, a bouncer kind of coming up to back me up. And so, uh, yeah. CCTV, well, end of story. That's what, that's what saved me, it was the CCTV. No, no, not big on social media, um, not since Craigslist is gone, you know. I met my wife on eBay, so, you know, I don't know how to work that shit. Come to a gig, we'll have some fun, I tell true stories as well as uh, the, the odd embellished lie.